Alright, well, as I was explaining, before I realized I wasn't muted, before I realized I was muted, we're playing Pokemon. We're unlocking Ultra Ball. I don't know any Pokemon in this. I now know that there's a Ponyta in this. I knew that there was a Piloswine. I figured there'd be a Quilava. I figured there'd be a Jumpluff. As we saw in the last one. But, like, I don't know what any Pokemon are or anything. So it's... We're just really getting into it right now. Gonna have to rack my brain, make good predictions. I knew that was a Lantern Cry, by the way, when it came out. I was like, that sounds like Lantern. Now, against the Jumpluff lead, that was actually a really tough fight for us, but if we had uh, managed, we would have won the plan turn and got a continue. I recognize that sound, but I couldn't tell you what it is. Did I get jump left? First move. Whoop, that okay, we are the Solar Beam user, which is good because we're probably facing something like Pilo Swine, Sand Slash. It's only a neutral hit, though. Should to a KO. Access to Iron Tail. There, defense that went down. I'm gonna go for another solar beam. Now, if this doesn't kill, I'll be very disappointed. But it's honestly to be expected if it's jump bluff. Quick attack. Okay, so it's expecting to die. What are we facing that has Quick Attack Iron Tail? It sounds like Quilava, but it would be not very effective. And a confirmed kill, you see the name and the crowd's cheering. What survives a Solar Beam and has all those moves? It's very confusing. There's Piloswine. Well, we're probably dead to this, so we'll try and find a quick move like Giga Drain if we happen to have it. Headbutt. I think we're Jump Muff. That makes the most sense. Ooh, nice. Flinch is nice, but we're not gonna win with Headbutts. We gotta learn more about this Pokemon. Flash is a good start, especially if this is like Blizzard Piloswine. Faster. But the yeah, other one looks tired. tired. If I had known that, I actually would have. Hmm. I figured since I'm jump off, I'm gonna die to one ice move, but it was icy wind and it was too weak. Could have gotten the kill. We have one flash on them. Let's just. Mm, oh, no, 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 I have to use my keyboard, and I don't really have everything mapped, but I remember that L trigger was A, so I have to find A on my keyboard <laughs> to cancel if I select move or switch. It was alright. Alright, let's find Fire Blast. I honestly don't mind Solar Beam either, but Fire Blast, Flamethrower, give us the goods. What now? Earthquake. Alright, now we need a fire blast, please. No, he moved! Alright, it's fine. We can we can switch back. We'll switch on the earthquake. There's no way they go for icy wind here. And even if they do, they're flashed, so they have a small chance to miss anyway. Oh, 
<laughs> then we gotta switch to our last to try and get a continue out of this fight. No, that's definitely jump bluff. I'm feeling it. That feels like a jump bluff cry. It matches the flash, matches the headbutt, matches the solar beam. Oh, it's sent! This is the last Pokemon! Oh, man, I'm gonna be so greedy. No, 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 we won't be greedy. No, 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 no. What if they go for rollout here? Doubt it. I know Sand, Sand Slash should be able to learn rollout. I feel like Sandshrew would learn it. Therefore, Sand Slash should learn it. Mm -mm -mm. Love that sound from him. Really. It is rollout. Oh, we're so good at this game. Dude, we are so good at this game. Alright, give us a high jump kick. It is a high jump kick. Dude, I'm so good at this game! I've literally predicted every move so far. The only move I've gotten wrong was Blizzard. I mean, I technically was looking for Giga Drain and didn't find it, but... Still, I've been right about every move. Insane. I forget how much damage uh, High Jump Kick does when you miss, though. I'm pretty sure it doesn't do half. I, I feel like it only does a recoil of what damage you would have done. If that's their uh, Barry, we're in trouble, theoretically. If that's ours, we're probably fine. It's gonna do a lot of damage. Okay. Ooh. Okay, now if that's their barrier, we're really in a bad spot. But that should be ours. Gotta continue. Predicted all our moves. Oh man. Found a fire blast, a fable, a jump kick, switched on a rollout. Who needs to learn Pokemon, you know? Just be good at the game and do that. <laughs> Who needs cries? Who needs anything? All right, we're gonna go. We're gonna live off the assumption that's a jump bluff. Hitmonlee is deuce. Mm -mm -mm. I can't quite emulate his uh, piggy sound. Not any of those. Uh, I don't even know what's anything, so there's not really much point to picking a team. We just want to learn. We have a continue, which is nice. I guess we'll go 3, 4, 5. Hitmonlee lead. Has a spammable high jump kick. Not a lot of resistances to that. Shouldn't be slow, bro. Here's the first move. Okay, we are switching. It's poison type. The poison will steadily weaken the victim. The crowd's excitement is still Give us a uh, Kadabra, I guess. Here comes the Pokemon Switch. Oh, it's Fortress! Fortress is okay. It's good poison and grass type resistance. We're against a curse user, which is not good. Because a curse user sets up, and Fortress doesn't have much damage. I think we're locked into rollout now. Ooh, we are in trouble. Concentrating on improving its stats. 
Sparks are flying from both competitors. What's this? That's it! Oh, and down it goes! Would've been nice if that fourth one killed so that we can pop the next one with a fiver, but I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll be fine. Oh, it's Jump Bluff! Jump Bluff! And I was right, it was Jump Bluff as our lead. And that's why I recognized it, is because when we, we when we when we played that first run and I realized my mic was muted. Headbutt's not going to do anything either, this is great. So we'll get a two or three hits in. After this first one. Kill the Jump Bluff, get a nice thick hit on the last one. I think this is a grass team. It's too bad there's no Parasect in this one. I know Parasect's in the last one. Ooh, that was a crit. Nice. Okay, I think that was a crit, because he said Kaboom. That's weird. I've never heard the announcer say two super effective lines in the same breath. He said... I already forgot what he said, but he said the, the first line. Serious damage, that's what he said. And then he said, Kaboom. Kaboom is what he says whenever it kills. Sometimes when it's, like, doing a ton of damage. But we're doing a level 3 and a level 4 rollout. We'll definitely kill with the 5th. Don't think we're going to kill with the 4th. We are mud slapped. I want to say Fortress has access to Giga Drain, but I can't know for sure. We don't know what our... Well, we know what Himalaya is. We know Fortress is our 4th. And that killed. Wow, 4. Mmm, that is... <coughs> uh, yeah, Fortress is a Pokemon that has an ability. An ability to snowball. How are we 2 0 with. <laughs> go, 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 go. I still don't like how fast the emulator runs these uh, segments. The processing speed is so fast, and it just it makes me uncomfortable. Just feels invalid, you know. Bring. Bring. Still don't know anything about my team. Uh, hit on the. Do we like our second? Already forgot our second. Clefable. Sure, let's do Clefable for this one, just because Fire Blast might have a use. We don't want Fortress, so let's go our fifth. Him on Link of Label, fifth. We have a spammable high jump kick. We've got a reasonable switch in in Clefable with coverage. Another. What the fuck? Dude? This is literally five jump luffs in a row. I'm not even exaggerating. Okay, it's only four. Clefable, second. We literally faced Jump Luff in our first match that I reset. Then we sent out Jump Luff. Then they sent out Jump Luff second in the second match. And then they sent out Jump Luff in the first Pokemon for the third battle. This is four Jump Luffs in a row. Alright, Fire Blast. Do your thing. What now? The drain is annoying, but at least they did it before we did damage. Less value. Oh, that misses rough. So there's a world where, like, we hit Fire Blast first, they Giga Drain, heal over 50, and then we hit with Fire Blast, and then we don't kill them again. They really went for that flinch. Wow. Did not expect that to one shot. That must have been a crit. Or a damage range. But even if it is a damage range, it should say the name. Very weird. Oh, it's Montine! Montine. Montine is annoying. We're gonna try and find another move or just maybe have Thunder Zap Cannon. Usually if you have a coverage move like Fire Blast, you don't also get Zap Cannon or Thunder, but... 
I was expecting the hyper beam too, and I wanted it. We're definitely gonna weaken it. Just go for the weak. The weakening. On the off chance we're a quick claw Clefable, that miss matters, right? If we hit the first one, recharge, second one, second surf hits us, and we get down to red. If we quick claw on our third turn, we can kill with Hyper Beam. Alright, so this is our fifth. We're hoping for any electric type. That's a good Pokemon. Quag Pog in the chat. That is their surf. Please don't find Earthquake. So good news, bad news. We have Earthquake. Bad news. We have Water Gun. How do we proceed? We have to find another attacking move with Hitmonlee. Preferably not Fire Punch. Thunder Punch would be the best, obviously. Ice Punch would be acceptable. That's the closest I can get right there. That sounds really close. Oh, oh, oh. It's just missing a little bit of oomph. Alright, so if High Jump Kip is left, right could be Hyper Beam, Thunder Punch, Attract, Wing Attack, Annoying. Give us a hit. Meditate. It increased its attack power. Wing attack. Man, that worked perfectly. Oh, oh, knockout. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Just one Pokemon remains. Can't quite emulate it. I guess I have to look for Hyper Beam or something. Headbutt, Strength. Anything but Earthquake, of course. And then we have a small inkling of a chance if there's somehow an Electric type on the end here. Or a Fire type. I made their Surf better. We quit successfully. Quagsire is an awesome Pokemon in this cup. Just a good Earthquake user. Good coverage with Water Gun. Can hit a lot of the things you're trying to hit. We're going to lead our last. No, we're going to lead Clefable. Oh my goodness, where's my Clefable? Clefable, last. Uh, wing attack is so good against jump bluff is the issue. This Mantine is annoying. So I guess it's a flying team since we've seen two flyers so far. Simulating is no good. Fortress is whatever. Oh, Fortress is okay. Yeah, let's do Fortress. Our fifth is Quagsire. Gotta remember, our fifth is Quagsire. Our sixth is hopefully just gonna be some dope-ass electric type. Give me a Flaffy. This is a Clefable, by the way. We let, let on. Ooh, oh, that's a Noctowl. I can recognize that sound. Uh, guess we stay in. Noctowl's not gonna do that much. Fire Blast is not going to do that much either, but... We are faster, and we got the hit off. <coughs> okay, okay, okay. Give us a Protect, one time. What? Are we Click Claw? I mean... <laughs> 
Uh, the new plan is switch to fortress. I better have switched to my fortress here. I might actually be a quick clock Lefable, by the way. <laughs> Why am I so good at this? Why am I so good at predicting my Pokemon? Playing to my outs. Flew high again. Alright, roll out. It's all up to you. Oh, that's perfect. I was like, if they fly, they take toxic damage. <laughs> Skarmory is nerve-wracking. But at best, it's got Drill Peck, Fly, or, you know, anything else. It's unfortunate we can't stall this one with toxic, but the good news is Clefable has Fire Blast. So, as annoying as this miss is going to be... We have a safe switch into Clefable. Relatively sweet, safe. Uh, do we want to check out our, our last? This is a good opportunity to check out our last. Let's check out our last. Because if we switch to an electric type here, we take the fly and then just start zap canning away or just thundering away. Pupitar. It's a good fly resist. I don't like switching into a steel wing is the issue, but I don't make the rules. The worst thing would be if they go steel wing fly, and fly is reasonable for them to use fly. Okay. Please don't switch to Mantine. There we go. Oh, it lived. Never mind. Oh, okay, that's fine. That's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, surely I have protect, right? Think about it. Surely I have protect. Okay. We're attacking. We are not switching. Okay. We are pressing up. Defense girl. Which is excellent. Boom, 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 boom. Well, I don't want to stay in with Clefable, but now that we've got the fence curl, these flies are going to do less. That miss. Ugh. Two defense girls makes me feel fine. Good. All right. To go back to Noctowl, I think our goal is to hyper beam. Yeah, I think we're supposed to hyper beam. Arbok. We have really good switch ins for Arbok. Yeah, let's go Pupitar. Let's find Dig. Oh, gosh. Arbok learns Earthquake, right? I know it can learn Earthquake in later gens. Does it know it in this gen? Okay, don't find Dig. I was trying not to be greedy and say find Earthquake. Whoop. Anything but Rollout. Rollout's fine, just please, Earthquake. Oh, it's got the Giga Drain. All right, we're going to have to go to Fortress after this one. 
Please don't roll out. Please. Okay, just bite. Can't stay in. Oh, please tell me I pressed switch. <laughs> I swear my finger was on my shift key. Shift is my... Uh... Could have gotten to continue this run. This fight. It's fine. That's annoying. On the off chance we were quick claw, that was not, not too bad either. We could have found uh, anything. I don't even know what move we went for, if I'm being honest. I guess we're just going to roll out, huh? Oh, they got the gizzard right now. Yeah. Fine, we'll roll out. <laughs> he was a ball she was a snake can i make it any more obvious <laughs> fuck off Oh my goodness. I do not want to find explosion, but I have to look for other moves now. The good news is Giga Drain has like 5 PP, and now we're down to 2 left. So they literally can't touch my fortress. So the only way we can conceivably lose this is if we find explosion. Even if we do find explosion, it's good damage. It'll it'll knock it down. Problem is this Giga Drain healed it back, whatever damage I've dealt to it. I don't even know if I've done any. I'm pretty sure I've done zero. I'm pretty sure I switched hard into Pipitar and then didn't do any damage. And they've healed it off by now. The Paralyze is annoying, the Attract is annoying, but this this is a done deal. Done run. They're gonna waste all their glares, all their attracts. It's gonna be reasonably fast too, because the animation's gonna be like, no, the move failed. So, anything but explosion. Let's go. Oh no, they switched. I wasn't ready for that. Okay, if I explode now, I'll be very upset. Oh, but he's got poison. Okay, shiny dirt. It's good for our fire blast. I guess I'm forced to go for forced fortress. I'm fortress to go for rollout here. I I don't think toxic will kill. It did not. I could have looked for another move. It's fine. But the other one looks tired. I don't think there's any merit to going for anything. So let's just see what our top is. If we found Protect, for example, that'd be very good for us. Take no damage. Alright, Giga Drain. One fly? No, we didn't take fly. And then we took fly from Noctowl. So fly from Noctowl and two Giga Drains. Dun, 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 dun. Hey, hey. Broke through. Explosion? I'll take a strength. That's good enough. Alright, the good news is we conceivably cannot lose this run. This fight, at least. As annoying as Attract and Paralyze RNG is, they're going to run out of Sludge Bombs before I die. So we just need to get through these uh, moments. Our up move is probably a bug attack. I don't think it would be Fury Cutter, but it could be. I don't think it can learn Fury Cutter, but it, it just, I really don't know. It could also be Curse. Curse would make a lot of sense. And since we just need to get there, we're just going to spam Strength. 
I don't know where this cough came from. Normally when I have the urge to cough, it doesn't really affect me. But, uh, like, I, I get one cough out and it's done, but it's been showing up the last 30 minutes. Okay, we'll mark that one down. I guess the third fight is a flying team with coverage, and in, in this case, the coverage was Charbuck. Still don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> uh, let's go Quagsire lead, huh? Alright, so bad Pokemon for Quagsire are flying, or grass types. How do we deal with grass types? Clefable, of course. What was our last? Couldn't tell you. I already forgot my last. It's on the tip of my tongue. It's it's literally right there. It's 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 so close. I, I I'm remembering the moment that I heard the name, and I'm not remembering the name. Ah, whatever. Let's just go Fortress, I guess. I was trying to decide between that and Hitmonlee. Hitmonlee's good enough. <laughs> this is round four. Alright, Quagsire. Let's see that earthquake. Chinchow. Or not Chinchow, sorry. Lantern. Excellent lead by my part. Tangela. Oh, we we picked Clefable specifically for grass types, so let's switch. Even after a Giga Drain, Fire Blast will one shot. Tangela has no special defense. And Solar Beam's perfect because it means we guarantee the, the, the to attack without it switching. If it went for Giga Drain, it might theoretically switch out to Lantern or someone. The miss is bad, though. And they're incentivized to switch. Okay, nice. Beautiful. It only cost us one PP and an extra 10 seconds, 15 seconds. For us guaranteeing the kill, I'm fine with that. No other downside. Oh, I guess the downside is we took damage. I mean, they just go for a... Uh, right? They're just going to go for Surf. I just, I feel like Quaxar was going to get two shot by a Surf or a Hydro Pump. Fine. I want to get it, I wanted to get a continue, but I think my best interest is just hitting the Hyper Beam and then we dip. Thunder Wave. The fuck? It must be a water gun user. That still doesn't make sense. Why would you Thunder Wave? Could not tell you the name of that move. That was. What the fuck was that? I mean, it must have water gun if it's not going for. There's no way that's spark. That sounds so weird. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna switch. <coughs> I 
moi. I just didn't expect Spark to sound like that. It just sounds so weird. Was water gone? Give us a fire type right on the end. Just give us a Quilava with Dig or something. Quilava with Dig. Charmeleon with Dig. Uh, fuck. <laughs> I'm not sure how to make that sound. It's like, it's close, but it's not right. Oh, I went Fortress, not him on Lee. That's a good switch anyway. Razor Leaf. Uh, I don't want to do anything, so I'm just going to go ahead and click roll out. Dun, dun, dun. I'm actually going to take a bathroom break. Oh no, I gotta... Okay, good thing I stayed for that. I'll have my blindfold on when I return. Say what you will, or talk about the integrity. I just need to pee real quick. Okay, we did hit the first one. Ugh. Be right back. Yeah. Return to my room. Gotta navigate some things. Here's my headset. Oh, I clicked the button. All right, I have to issue a command. Hold on. Oh my gosh, where's my keyboard? Okay, there it is. Oh, let's go for strength. I don't know how much damage I did. And there we go. We're back. Hello. I washed my hands. I don't know if I can prove it, but it should be a little bit wet right here. I wonder how many uh, rollouts I got off, considering the strength didn't kill. I'm going to guess I missed the immediate second one. <laughs> oh, nice. We hit at least two then. Ring, ring. We also gotta continue. <laughs> oh, this game. Alright, so I do know what this team is. I'm 99% sure this is a rain dance team, which is rough because I actually have, like, nothing great. 
I don't remember if Solar Beam is weaker in this generation. We're going to run Hitmonlee on the off chance they have Ice types. It seems reasonable. And then it's like Fortress, Quagsire. Heck was my fourth. My second's called Fable. Fable's not bad. Fourth should be Fortress. Quagsire, meh. It's got Earthquake though. Fine, we'll use her. We'll use Quagsire. Oh. I should have considered something that's good against Slowbro, since Slowbro's a likely. Pokemon. <laughs> like that that sounded like a slow row. Alright, give us give us a rain dance. Please confirm my suspicions. And then please don't be weaker in the rain, solar beam. Please don't be weaker in the rain. Please. <laughs> <laughs> Something tells me it's weaker in, uh... <laughs> Ooh, okay. I'll go for Headbutt then. I was gonna- I was gonna listen and decide... Yeah, maybe- maybe Headbutt was too weak. Maybe it is slow, bro. I mean, it's just, you know, hit the Headbutt, it's whatever, you know? Alright, if two Headbutts don't kill, I'm gonna be very disappointed. What are the odds my headbutt did exactly 20 damage and they were at one life? What's the over under on that? Huh, maybe I should have prepared for Mantine. Hmm. Maybe I should have gotten the fortress. I figured because it was a you know a surf using team, it wouldn't wouldn't make a difference. But now I'm really wishing I had something for this man time. Does Quagsire get access to a decent rock move? Doubt. What was our down? I don't remember. Our attacking move on Hitmonlee is up. If down is meditate and left is high jump kick and right is what I assume is attract. I don't want to stand and take a air slash. I don't want to take a wing attack. I don't want to do anything, honestly. I could go for a flash. Go for one flash. That way when we switch we can have a little bit of a... A little bit of assistance. <laughs> Give us a fly. Okay. Cup. Boom. Cup. Okay. Air slash is annoying. I do not like going Quagsire here at all. What do we decide on? Did we decide on Fortress or Quagsire? It's definitely Quagsire, because I know I picked Hitmonlee because I wanted to play around any potential ice types. How foolish of me to think there are any water ice types in Ultra Ball. Quag. Air Slash incoming. Bubble Beam. Okay. Dun, dun. Uh, Toxic? Did I rain dance for the Mantine? Surely not. <laughs> Damn it, I did. I did. No. <laughs> Please miss. Okay, I have protect, which is not irrelevant. But 
we're going to be hitting water guns in the rain against the Mantine, which has the highest special defense in all of Ultra Ball, for sure. <sighs> okay, good miss, good miss. I actually want to stall the rain so that I can get a non-bubble beam boosted switch in. Oh, please don't tell me I clicked Rain Dance there. Please tell me I didn't click Rain Dance. Okay, good. My finger, like, danced between my page up and page down buttons. It was, like, right on the center. All right, let's see. Rain Dance. Water Gun. Or Rain Dance. One. Protect. Water Gun. Protect. So this is the last turn of rain. I guess we'll deal damage rather than protect. Protect is not guaranteed and we don't really care. It's a good miss. I don't think they've hit any bubble beams because the answer's calling me fresh and ready for more. So my Quaxar should be relatively healthy despite the rain. <laughs> okay. Give me Thunder Punch. One time. <coughs> Please. Okay. I'll take a strength. That's honestly fine. It's more than enough. That water gun damage better make the difference here when this kills. It didn't. Dodge? I mean, air slash is pretty inaccurate. Wing attack is not. Okay. Oh, it lived! Oh, I just assumed it was dead! Oh, this is insane. Alright, last mon. Uh, Dugong. Last mon do gong. Last mon do gone. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I'll even take a water rock. I don't think there would be a water rock, but if there is, give it. Seeking. That's fine. Seeking we can beat. Seeking we can beat. Okay, we got one hit off. That's good. That was important. We have a healthy Quagsire. Oh. I was going to count to see if we're on the last turn of Rain Dance or not, but I'll just go Quagsire. Surf's going to do a lot of damage if we're still in the rain. Whew. Nice, 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 nice. Okay. A right earthquake. We are not faster, but that's fine. We don't die. High jump kick earthquake should definitely kill. Come on. That's our boy. Good old quag. <laughs> Please, no more Mantines. I have nothing for Mantine. <laughs> I mean, I technically have a uh, Fortress, but it's not a great, great answer. Quagsire lead. Clefairy coverage. And I still can't remember my last. Guess we'll go ahead, Monly. Oh, I'm not sure about this core. It's medium against water types and really bad against Mantine. Oh, 
I mean, surely that wasn't a grass type, right? There's no way that was an Ivysaur. Did okay damage. Little damage. There's no way that was counter. He would have said counter. There's no way that's Iron Head. There's just no way that's Iron Head or anything like that. Iron Head doesn't exist, I'm pretty sure. Crit is fine. Didn't do much the first time, so it shouldn't do much on a crit. Could not tell you what that is. Sounds like a normal type, if anything, but can't imagine what. Slowbro. Slowbro is very bad for us. All of us are physical attackers. Hopefully that did at least 30%. Yeah, here we go. Do we... Oh, Quagsire is so good! Alright, just crit. Just crit, and then let it magically be enough damage. Let's go. Please. Alright, fine. Still, our boy survived a psychic. Stab psychic. Don't think we can afford to go Hitmon Lee. So I think we gotta go Hyper Beam. Still don't know what that first one was. Don't know what the movie went for was. Don't know anything. As far as I know, that was a weird headbutt user. Okay, we did hit. That was important. All right, we've got two Pokemon against their last, and we're hoping it's got low defense or is weak to Fire Blast. There's no way it's a grass type. I mean, I mean, there's no way we get two hyper beams off, right? Oh, but a plus two hyper beam. I can fuck with a plus two hyper beam. Let's go. No, I was so excited. There was like a, the smallest pause in the world. Before the, uh, at the end of the animation, and it sounded like it broke through, because normally the crowd cheers instantly. It was like the smallest little pause, and it sounds like the crowd's not going to cheer, and then they cheer. We should, we'd add to this one. They crit. Oh my goodness. What a fucking joke of a loss. Double psychic. Ugh. <laughs> Strength doesn't do anything either. We need double crits. If we just hit one hyper beam, I'd be happy, but like, no. Can't even hit one hyper beam. I just added two psychics, if not just the first. Because these are like 130s, 110s, 100s. I think it's 100 base special. Crit! King's Rock! <laughs> we have to run jump off. <laughs> I don't know what the lead was, but it's definitely something. I guess we want to do fortress then, huh? Be a psychic switch in. We need to get our continue back is the worst part of all this. Getting the continue back is just awful. I think we got a lead Quagsire still. And then we'll do... Fortress... Fortress... 
fortress, and then we'll do jump off. Jump off last, fortress second. Quanxar seem to do well against their first lead, so let's hopefully get that again. Not a Slowbro. That sounds relatively similar to the thing that we killed, but it might be Slowbro. Couldn't tell you. I am literally an idiot. Okay, it's the exact same Pokemon. I'm guessing that's Thrash, based on the sound, now that I've heard it more clearly. What's a good Thrash user? Oh, is this Pupitar? No, Pupitar would be weak. Hmm. What's a Thrash user? Thrash user, Thrash user. Who knows? I'd like to get a continue here, so I guess we should switch to Fortress. If they go Slow King, I'll feel good about it, but if they switch to Slow Bro, I will not. Okay. I mean, I can get one Earthquake off, but I'd rather get one Earthquake off against the Slow King. Because against the Slow Bro, it's not going to do that much damage anyway. It's not worth the risk with the psychic damage range and all that. We can learn what our up move is. I honestly wouldn't mind Fury Cutter here. I just can't think of what attack is up here. I love Toxic. Oh yeah, that's right, because I have Sunny Day. Ah. Okay. It's fine. We're definitely going to go for Sunny Day, though. This is the one case where if we earthquake first, it would have been nice. But they're only going for Psychics, which is great because the Psychic does zip. Nada. And it's funny, when, I, when we... Switch this fortress whenever we did. I was when we found Sunny Day. I was like, "Oh, that must mean Solar Beam is up, or our last move is Solar Beam." But uh, I didn't put it into words. But this is good. This should be a continue recovered. No! It's a good thing we have strength, at least. Uh, oh, but if we go for strength, then we hit ourselves in confusion. I mean, we have enough defense that it's not going to make it that big of a deal, but we really need to break through, please. What is that delay? There's a delay! It's, it's annoying me. Wow, and we died. Wow, and we died. We can't even go jump bluff because their sun's running out. Ugh, fine, Quagsire. It's all to you. Please go to Slow King so I can crit, then we will know if we can win this. But I severely doubt that we can. Uh. I mean, how is that even legal? What trainer on the sixth fight has Slow Bro and Slow King? It's very obnoxious, very frustrating. Ba -da -da. <laughs> We lived grown weaker with the heart sunlight down to appear to be changing. I never know what he says, I just kind of muddle, mutter. We should die to this psychic. It might be a range. It killed. 
Okay. Okay. I mean, we're forced to go for Solar Beam. Man, this could have been a continue, and instead it's a... It's, like, actually close. Oh, please don't have Ice Punch. Oh my goodness. Why is there a pause? There's silence between it ending. When I play on my console, there's a very distinct delay. Oh my goodness, please flinch, please flinch, please flinch. Please flinch, please flinch, please flinch. Please flinch. They're not cheering. No quick claw. <laughs> I hate going into these fights and not knowing what I'm fighting. It's it's not hard to like figure out a Pokemon. But when you like pick a bad matchup, you know what I mean? How am I supposed to play around exactly a Water Psychic? My team sucks against Water Psychics. Alright, I think Fortress is required in every fight from here on out. Just because it's a great resist for everything, and it has the Sunny Day Solar Beam combo. And it's also my only Mantine switch in. We're not going to lead on it. We're definitely leading Quagsire. I still can't remember my last. But it wasn't good if, if that's what I'm remembering. Man, I really can't remember my last... Ugh. Fortress. We would like Fortress. Fortress is our fourth slot, which means it's A. And I kind of want Clefable. But I mean, we have a grass switch in in Fortress. Even though it's not amazing against all grass types, it's still a switch in. So what is, what is our weakness? Fire. We have Quagsire. Oh, I don't remember my last. I remember hoping for a Flaffy and then hearing the name that the announcer gave. And the announcer said the name of the Pokemon. That is my last. And it was... Nope. It escapes me. Couldn't tell you what my last is. All I know is it's not an electric type because we went into it when we had to face the Mantine. And it wasn't good against the Mantine. What was it? Bro, what was our last? Ugh. I don't even know what to pick for this, dude. Clefable? I guess we're forced to go Clefable. Clefable's nice because we also have the Sunny Day support, so there will be opportunities where those will overlap. But for now... We just Earthquake with Quagsire and hope it's not a Grass-type. Oh, that sounds so Grass-like. We're switching. Meow. We are 100% switching. We can actually protect here. That's the other thing that's great about our Quagsire is we can... We can scout. Gotta remember that. But Fortress is probably a good switch in no matter what. There's no way a Fire-type stays in. Okay. Could be a flying type. I don't want to lock myself in a rollout, though, so let's just stick with uh, strength for now. We are faster, but not very strong. Should have just earthquaked. Fuck. 
Flaffy? No, there's no way it was Flaffy. Flaffy makes sense. Maybe it was Flaffy. He would have said Earthquake, though. Earthquake definitely would have been enough. Oh, man, I really want on a switch. This Quagsire is so important. We took a crit, whatever that was. <sighs> mm, I'll switch. I'll switch after this Earthquake. The good news is if I accidentally pressed B instead of A, or A instead of B, we did switch. But if I pressed A instead of B, I clicked right anyway, and right is going to do Earthquake. All right, Clefable on, Clefable action. Let's go. Surely a Hyper Beam kills. Surely a Hyper Beam kills. Right? <sighs> Fine, we'll Fire Blast first. Cool. I'm feeling a little bit better about a hyper beam killing at this range now. Headbutt's fine. Hmm. No, nah, we'll, we'll hyper beam. I was, I was like, maybe we should go for more since headbutt's not doing that much anyway. But it did do enough damage, so we got the kill. We have one chance to get a continue here, and their last has to be Fortress. Give us Fortress. Honestly? I'll take it. <coughs> hmm. There's no way Hyperbeam kills. Maybe there's a world where I go for Defense Curl first, and then Hyper Beam, Hyper Beam. Because if we died to this Hyper Beam, it might have been correct to Defense Curl first. Because we're still faster than Chansey, and we'll still get to attack while it's on charge, on cooldown. Alright, we survived, so we got our continue back, which is the most important thing that could have happened here. Uh, the safest thing would actually be to switch to Quagsire, I guess. Because if we miss there and then miss again, we die to Hyper Beam, we lose our continue. Whereas switching to Quagsire, no risk. Earthquake should kill after a Hyper Beam. But technically this was the faster thing to do, was to just hit. And you know you know how we do here. Just hit. Got our continue back. This is like, I'm pretty sure that we, we had no continues going into that fight. And now we're coming out of it with one, so... Uh, I'm just going to pick the same squad. Fortress is pretty great. Really awesome Pokemon on this squad right now. Quagsire. Fortress. Clefable. Quag. <laughs> I don't know what any of these Pokemon are. <laughs> scout. Okay, scout, 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 scout. Oh my goodness, what is that Pokemon sound? What you got, what you got? Dynamic punch, okay. I'm not afraid, no dynamic punch. I will say fighting types are pretty good against my team. Unless that's just Fire Punch. I was pretty sure it's Dynamic Punch. Hitting that is annoying. Man, Fighting types are pretty good against me.
two dynamic punches is annoying. I love that I can just protect <laughs> every turn. I can scout. Ugh. Like, I can scout if it's like a Haunter, if it has Giga Drain. Hypna. Okay. Well, mm, I mean, Fire Punch is literally backbreaking. We're definitely switching. I don't trust that I didn't hit the switch button. Hold on. I mean, if I if I didn't, I'd hit. I if up is protect anyway. So if we didn't hit switch, we'll we'll be using protect here anyway. Okay. It's really funny that a lot of my moves are lining up with what I would switch to as well. Fade the fire punch, and we can win. Fade the fire punch. Fade the fire punch. Just gotta hit this strength. Fade the fire punch. Okay. That should two it KO us potentially the next one. But if the next one doesn't kill us, the one after that 100% will kill us. And we just need to get through this fight, so. Strength, strength, hyper beam, earthquake. That's our goal for the rest of this fight. Alright, that could have killed us, but it didn't. I'm thrown off because the slow bro and slow king killed us. Ooh, nice crit strength. Beautiful. That just bought us a lot of time. Okay. Now I might go for fire blast. Is Quagsire faster than Hypno? Is Quagsire faster than Hypno? Is Quagsire faster than Hypno? Our boy! Okay, that was a mistake. Should've just gone Clefable. The thing is, I don't think Clefable kills with Fire Blast. That's what's really bothering me right now. And I don't want to go for Hyper Beam. We'll be so far behind on their last. <sighs> I guess we're Hyper Beaming twice. I should've not have, I should not have done Quagsire. Quagsire should've been a contingency for an electric type. Contingency for an electric type. That's what I should have done. Because, like, as you can see, I've literally just thrown a Quagsire away for nothing. It may make a difference. It may not. We're going to find out right now. And if it's an electric type, I'm going to feel awful. Noctowl. Okay. Uh, hopefully it's Fly, not Psychic. I should defense curl this turn, expecting them to go for fly. Okay, just peck. Please hit. Oh, takedown. Even better. Equally fit. There's plenty of fight left in both of them. I could go for Hyper Beam this turn, but with the Reflect Up, I don't know how much damage it's going to do. We just need to survive two more takedowns to win for sure, so I went for another Defense Curl. But this Hyper Beam should kill now. If we miss, it could be dicey, but this should be the last round. No! 
Okay. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I was ready for it to crit takedown. How low was I? Bro, I was so gonna die. I know I was gonna die to a crit takedown there or something. Man, what a what a roller coaster of a Whew. My desktop No one's been hearing the audio this entire time. I don't know how long my desktop audio has been muted. I don't know why it was muted. That is the weirdest thing. That is, I'm very upset. <laughs> this was super scuffed. Everything about this run is like losing integrity. Uh, I went to take a bathroom break. Quagsire did amazing. Pupitar, that's why I was not remembering. It's because we have two ground types and that throws me off. This one try that you see here was, I realized my mic wasn't on, because I, I remember I switched scenes, and I know I always mute my mic, and I didn't have a memory of me unmuting it. You get the audio, we get the video. Ugh, no, that was not intentional. I'm so sorry, everyone. I mean, what's, what's great, though, is <laughs> with the way I play this game, the good news is you didn't miss any sounds, because I usually parrot everything I hear. I say it exactly the same time as the announcer... I do the ba ba da ba da ba 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 da ba ba da ba ba da ba ba. Anyway, I make all the sounds. Anyway, wow, that was a lengthy run, and I'm sorry about the audio issue. I think I pressed something over here. I like bumped my keyboard. Ah, okay. What? Apparently if you press Control z it does stuff. Control z muted my mic somehow? And then Control z muted my desktop audio just now. Whenever it's on- whatever you last clicked, that's what it- Control z mutes that. I'm gonna turn that off, cause what the fuck is that? Okay, apparently that is not an option. I literally have a million hotkeys that are unbound. Literally every single thing on my OBS is unbound. And apparently, Control-Z. Oh! It's undo. That would make sense, huh? That would make sense. It's literally undo. Undo. Okay. So then why did it mute my audio? Because my desktop audio wasn't muted. I never clicked the de desktop audio to be muted. I don't know how my desktop audio got muted, and I'm very sorry. But, I mean, that's the consequence of playing on a keyboard. I want to play with my controller, not my keyboard. That is what it is. Great run.